Welcome to the Sun and Fun 2021 Quick Take Episodes. All right, we are here Sun and Fun 2021 at the Acme Aero booth uh, with somebody who's becoming more and more popular and a bit of a celebrity in our neck of the woods here in aviation, especially Stoll. Is Jaden Newman. I met Jaden by accident at an Arkansas event last year, showing up with a cute little yellow airplane and a bumblebee on the side of it, and uh, really gave Steve Henry a run for his money. So, um, anyway, wanted to introduce you all to her in case you haven't uh, heard about her or, or known her. Um, but, Jaden, if you could introduce yourself and where you're from and when you started out in aviation. Uh, my name is Jada Newman. Um, I started flying about a year and two months ago. Uh, We're at an air show, so it, it, enjoy the extra sound. And I probably have about 700 hours now, and I just love flying. So what, um, what was the first aircraft, what was the first aircraft that you ever flew in? <laughs> what was the first aircraft that you ever flew in, and then what did you end up training in, and about how long did it take you to get your license? So the first aircraft I flew in was a 172, that's what I got my license in, and then after I got my license in the 172, then I transitioned over into the tailwheel. Yeah. And we spoke, I don't know, the last the last show that I didn't realize you, you guys are new. Your whole family was new to aviation, but like so new, like you told me you never even gone to an air show before. Is that is that correct? That is correct. So we only got into flying about two years ago. Um, I got into it about a year and a half ago. My dad was the first one to get his license two years ago. And yeah, Sun and Fun is our first big air show. And prior to that, when you showed up with Little Yellow Bumblebee at Arkansas, that was your first official aviation event, air show, anything? Yes. Yep. And you showed up and came second place in Arkansas? Yep. So, I mean, that in itself <laughs> speaks for itself that uh, I guess it's in you to be a pilot. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. So, and last we spoke then, you were considering doing some type of um, off airport backcountry training, in other words, after you got all of your licenses, you wanted to train people to do that. Already, it seems like that has pivoted. So tell people what has happened since then and what you're going to do, at least for the next however long. So, yeah, I was wanting to go more towards like TAC Aero, CFI backcountry training. Um, Welcome to Sun and Fun, but um, <laughs> yeah, I wanted to do more aviation, backcountry, CFI training, but then at Arkansas I got a job offer to do um, charter in beach jets for Clemens Aviation, and I just couldn't turn that down. Yeah. No way, no way. So uh, you got about, I think you said 70 hours already? Yeah, in the beach jet. So you're going to stick around, do that, build some time, maybe just stick with that and, and do the, the stole thing um, part-time. Yeah, on the side. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, tell everybody the, the, air, the details of the aircraft that you're flying and then maybe what might be next. Um, so my airplane, um, it has a, has a Titan CC340 engine in it. Um, Acme Aero gear, shocks, and tail wheel, and that's about all the accessories that I have on my plane so far, yeah. Is that the plane it is? 
It's a Cub Crafters Super Sport Cup. What are you going to get next? And we are working with Patriot Aircraft to maybe get me a, start building me a new uh, race plane. Yeah. An official all out, not that not that a Cub isn't competitive or anything like that, but uh, a carbon Cub, but you're going to go full on race plane. Um, we're going to try and, not completely a full on race plane, I still want it to be good for me flying back and forth to all the competitions and like my travel plane still so not full-on Steve Henry fied race plane just more horsepower less weight we are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics Airworks AirTech coatings these sponsors make all of this original aviation content possible so I invite you after this video to check out the links below and say hello to our sponsors. Tell them you found them here on the Experimental Aircraft Channel. And to back all the way out again to uh, when you, you first had the idea of flying, who who out there inspired you the most? I think there, there was somebody you stopped by to visit that was kind of like your hero in all this. Who was that? Um, so I started the stole flying after I started watching Steve Henry on YouTube and the Flying Cowboys and I saw Draco and I went and met Mike, Mike and Mark Patey and that was that was just super cool and then to race against Steve Henry at Arkansas and almost beat him that just that was awesome that is awesome and the fact that you're you're experimental and you're you're sticking with experimental obviously you've flown certified aircraft could you could you say what in your mind's eye the, the advantages of having an experimental? So I like an experimental because you can you can do more options with experimental. Certified you have to you're limited to what you can and can't put on your aircraft. With, it, with experimental you just you could put duct tape as your tail wheel if you wanted to. <laughs> well I'm sure Acme does better than duct tape as a, as a tail wheel but Acme does way better than duct tape as a tail wheel. <laughs> So are you going to stick um, with uh, the uh, the Arkansas thing or just like any type of stole thing that comes up when, when you're not flying jets during the week? So I'll pretty much just be doing um, Oshkosh, Sun and Fun, and Arkansas. And if I can get off for some of the other events, I would like to try and do the national stole events, but with a new job, it's hard to get off. Understand, understand. So, if you could say one or two things to the the other young generation, you're now 18, but people that are aspired to, to be pilots are maybe apprehensive of either uh, you know the first flight or trying to. What what could you say to encourage them to get out there and just just try it, just do it? After the after the jet passes by. What I would have to say to all the young kids would just be, you know, don't give up. There's going to be hard times in your flight training where you think you can't do it or it's too hard, but just don't give up and just keep pushing to what you want to do, keep pushing towards your goals, because if I can do it, you can do it. Well said, well said. Well, have you finally got around to starting some type of official Jade Newman Facebook social media thing to uh, so people can follow you in your career? Um, I am on Instagram and Facebook. I haven't made a YouTube yet. I've just been too busy, but I am on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. So Facebook, it's just Jaden Newman, and my Instagram is Jaden Newman underscore zero one one seven. And what is your, uh, your your thumbnail? Is it the Bumblebee right now, or what do you currently have as your as your thumbnail? I would say it's probably the Bumblebee. Yeah. It's my little signature sticker, I guess. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day today. It's nice, warm. I think it's like 85 today, maybe approaching 90. It feels like 100. Yeah, it's a little humid in Florida. You're from Montrose, Colorado, so it doesn't get as humid? Yeah, I'm from Montrose. Just moved to Kansas. Yeah, so a little bit, little bit different weather here, but hopefully you all uh, have had a chance to see a little bit of uh, aviation this week at Sun and Fun 2021. And... We'll see you at Oshkosh in just a few months. Yep.
Yeah, definitely. All right. Again. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the Experimental Aircraft Channel. Remember to like and subscribe. Check out our brand new website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.